as you can clearly, you can see, clearly see by my face, by my face, and the ugliness, and the ugliness that is that is embedded, embedded in it. In it. Not to mention, not to mention the scabies, the scabies, and, and and polio, polio that infest, that infest every pore, every of, my pore of my being. That also, that also known as my known face, my face. Maybe you recognize. Maybe you recognize. I'm Shaggy Tudo I'm Shaggy from, from, from Insane Clown Posse. Insane Clown Posse. Insane Clown Posse. 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 Now listen. Now listen. I don't know what the I fuck, don't know what you, the got fuck you got going on going Wednesday, on Wednesday, Wednesday night. night. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, but obviously, obviously, it must not be it must shit. Not be shit. Cause, cause, I'm tell you one thing. You, one thing. you must not be you must doing shit on Wednesday night. Check it out. Check it out. The one you two on YouTube. Wanna why? Wanna why? Because it's wicked as fuck. Wicked as fuck. Whole crew of them. Whole crew of them. Non YouTube. Non YouTube. Three things. Three things. Each separately. Each separately. Only different. Only different shit. We know that. We know that. Crew. Crew. Motherfuckers. YouTube. YouTube. Fucking. Fucking. Jumping off. Jumping off. I shit, I shit, on the back. on the back. I don't know. I don't know. What? What? Yeah. Put them all three together. Three together. Wicked, crew. wicked crew. I don't count. I'm on YouTube. Count. On YouTube. What the fuck is on my face? What the fuck is on my face? That means Wednesday that means Wednesday nights night are night cooking over, cooking over. By a fucking by a crew fucking of juggalos, crew of juggalos, the wicked crew, wicked crew, 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 Put now, put now, whoop, 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 whoop. I apologize. I didn't even hear you at all. All I heard was mute. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> wow. Sometimes it mutes you, sometimes it don't. What's up, Wiki Crew? What up? Yeah, late night stream from us. One of the first late night streams in a long, well, since October. Oh. Fucking got cut playing that intro. What? Anyways, we are going to be listening to Pug Ugly from ICP. It dropped at midnight one hour ago. It's currently hey. it is currently Aug- Friday, August fifth, twenty twenty two. If you guys have not heard the entire album yet, which I'm assuming you guys haven't because it's only been an hour. Well, look no further because you're going to watch it with us if you are here. Well, you're going to listen to it. We're going to give you guys our feedback, what we think of it, and so on and so forth. If you guys are not subscribed already, make sure you guys drop a subscribe and uh, turn on the post notification. That way you guys get alerted whenever we go live, do uploads and giveaways. And with that being said, I do not own rights to uh, the music. Cats acting up. All rights are reserved to uh, Psychopathic Records. I'm going to set chapter 17. All right, let's get into it. Thank bitch. The first track's called I'm Ugly. I'm Ugly. Can you hear it? Book. Ugly. Book. I like the beat. 
See me wake the dead, misled, bite off a snake's head. I spread hate, dread, and bloodshed because I'm ugly. I duck and hide where the rich reside, and I short slide through your side door and homicide for sure. I'm ugly. You can smell the death in the air. I'm out there, my nightmare's right here, and I'd like to share because I'm ugly. Four corpse tied up dead, lying the floor. My high score, my pride sore when they die and they ride no more because I'm ugly. Kill, bitch, I'm ugly and ruthless. I'll kill you. I'm not you, bitch, I'm ugly and ruthless. I'll kill you. I'm not you, bitch, I'm ugly and ruthless. I like that intro. I'll kill er, you. I'm not the chorus. You, bitch, I'm ugly. Okay, so that one was I'm Ugly, which is pretty much going to be the, I guess, intro to Pug Ugly. Being track one. How do we feel about that track, everybody? I think I might like it better than Wicked Vic's intro. I do. I, I agree with that. Wicked Vic's intro. I loved Wicked Vic's intro. I'm liking it so far. Couldn't help but notice the line about hitting the glass pipe. Loved it. Loved it. All right. We're going to move on to the second one, which is I'm going by the picture Figa Love Lovers provided us with on Facebook. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Boom, suck up date. Oh man, I hope that line's in here. All right, let's <laughs> do this. You can hear it, right?
Trek too. I break it down. I like the fact that they threw Hocus Pocus in there though. Mm-hmm. I like how Shaggy did the abracadabra. I hope Alan J said in the Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Abracadabra. Next one's Pug Ugly. Hmm. I wonder if this one's going to sound like an intro. <clears throat> How do we feel about that about that song, uh, Abracadabra, guys? So far, the first two tracks were pretty good. I enjoyed them. It was dope. I liked it. Fire. So albums about to be fully lit. Ten ten. I got my headphones in, so it's a little. I'm getting a little bit better feedback than what most of you guys are getting. And you guys are only here like once we play the audio here on stream. It's going to be a little bit different than what you guys are hearing. So I highly suggest whenever you get the time, go and listen to it for yourself. Because it's going to sound a little bit different than what you're hearing on here. It kind of gets a little muffled. Yeah. If that makes sense. Okay, here's track three, Pug Ugly. The same, it's one big hideous game. Hot ugly! 
I don't understand the the ending of that. Unless, I don't either. Unless it ties into the next track. It might. Um, at first, I didn't think I was going to like it. But after hearing hearing the gore and shit in it, I actually like it. It reminds me of that Blaze song, Climbing. It sounds Climb. just like that. I don't, I don't think I know that song. I'll have to go listen to it. Climbing. What does the chat think about that song? And overall, what do you guys think of the album so far? We are three tracks in. Going three on the fourth. So I'm liking it. Yeah. I'm kind of excited for the new the next one. Scrub it. It's Liddy. <clears throat> yeah, Scrub Gang. I'm just I'm hoping. I'm hoping the beat does not sound like what we just heard at the end of that song. Man. I don't know. Last time they had the word gang in it, we got fucking gangster codes. You yeah. know how that's about to be. Oh, man. Everyone here is dissing. Best thing they dropped since Death Pop. Like, overall... The whole combination of Bedlam, I enjoy it. Like so far, I'm enjoying this one, um, Pug Ugly. I'm I'm enjoying Bedlam, the one before Bedlam. Um, it's got the boy. What's it called? The what? Lure. Uh, Lure. Yum Yum Lure. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's that track though about the boy? Ding Ding Dong. Ding Ding Dong. Okay. Now, with Fearless Red Fury, we only got, right? We only got FFF and Flip, right? Yeah. Or was there a, another drop? With, I don't think there was another drop with it. Probably a single or something. Maybe like a Hello Wicked drop. Yeah, Judgment Day. Okay. What I heard before, not bad. Yeah, just keep in mind, you know, ICP's music, it's not like, the, it's not, they're never going to go back to the older shit. So just keep that in mind. Good advertisement. <clears throat> the next track is going to be Scrub Gang. Track four. Are we ready? Yep. Single law vibes. It's like I'm a Yeti. Yeah. Got swag, got balls, got heart, got them all, got an attitude, but got no Betty. None. Short on the rent, uh, already spent. Uh, wrote a bad check, uh, already sent. Uh, Fake my repent, uh, run a long stand. Uh, Car full of dents, and I can't take a hit. Yeah. Four kids and five baby mamas. Yeah. Warrants in both Carolinas. Power went, the hospital sign, a honeymoon spent. At a McDonald's, met my wife as a prostitute. Threatened my life, and I got to shoot. Skip front twice, and I got to boot. It gets me right. Oh, 
Six months stay, stay. Soon as I get laid, everything's way That motherfucker, all your friends say he played a joke, a joke. Flat talk, flat talk. Steady choking on my second hand smoke, hand smoke. A crook, a crook. Bitch, looking you'll see everything you're missing. I took. Uh, living in the store, it's damn, damn. Sleeping on the floor again, damn. Looking to score again with baby mama for a man war again, bitch. Blow it in and I'm sipping it down. Sorry, friends, I'm picking them down. Go with him, I'm tripping them down. Of course, I'm tripping. I'm a wicked cow. I like that part. Yeah. I'll be scrubbing when I'm young, I'm like 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 scrubbing when I'm young, I'm
You're still giving a 10 out of 10? All right. Yeah, that's a fucking great EP. Mm-hmm. I'm the, yeah. I'm going to, right now, I'm just going to give it a nine because we still got, we still got three more tracks to listen to. And I want to keep, yeah, yeah. keep at least one point from being a 10, you know, there just in case if I need to give it the extra point. Let's see. Yeah, because we still have the 80s rock ballad and Queen's remix. I don't know how I'm going to feel about the rock ballad. I'm not either. You heard that exclusive fucking, what was it, J-Day song? Which one? The heavy metal track they put out. Oh, yeah. I believe so. Don't forget, like, and subscribe. Eight. Huh? We're not at 18 likes, right? What? No. <laughs> We're at seven. I don't know what the 18's for. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Exactly. Merch. Yeah, everything is in the description below. Our merch store. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. We're going to listen to the next one, which is going to be track five out of seven. I'm afraid. Let's uh, let's get into it. Okay. Never stop, not just like sometimes. Bolo the guap, she beat they ass down. He shot a cop when all they did was hit they punk ass down like plop. They act so fearless, they act so brave. They only act. What'd you say? Oh, sorry, I said old school vibes. I was trying to think, like, it kind of sounds like hoodoo, uh, but. What's that song? I believe it's off of Marvelous Missing Link. Uh, where he's falling. Is it falling apart? Falling apart. I have a headache. That's okay. Let me let me restart this real quick. We're only we're only 36 seconds in, but tell me this don't kind of sound like that. Never stop, not just like sometimes. Bolo the guap, she beat they ass down. He shot a cop when all they did was sit they punk ass down like plop. They act so fearless, they act so brave. They only act me, I stay afraid. I've lived in fear since second grade. Afraid of life, everything above the grave. I fear my body, afraid to cough, afraid of money, and getting soft, afraid of love, blow my head off, let's have some cocktails, make her some molly talk. I guess I'll never know why I feel this way, why I What'd you say? These are the dudes from Ain't No Time. I was, I was, well, I was getting a look at who who's singing this. Roadside Ghouls, Roadside Ghosts, I don't know. Something like that. For some reason, they're not giving them credit. It just says, uh, I'm afraid, ICP, Joseph Essler, and Joseph Bruce. Church. I fear no pressure, afraid I'll burst, 
cops afraid we might get sucker drop kicked by Fred Durst. By Fred Durst. Afraid to mean mug. The mean afraid mug. to smile. Afraid to, smile. Afraid to clowns, afraid but to I feel I'm, I'm in denial. Afraid of black eyed kids and zombie pedophiles. I fear the dead war and catching straight projectiles. Afraid to trust her and be entrusted. Afraid to bust her. Some of us cussed it. Afraid I must hit because I lost it. Afraid I gushed early. I should have just flushed it. I guess I'll never know why I feel this way. I'm afraid of being tried. I'm afraid of being denied and feeling fried. I'm afraid of truth over lies. Whatever that implies, I believe it when I see it, but I can't trust my eyes. I'm afraid of summer and as it rains. Afraid of cuts, gashes, slashing my veins. A liar trashing my name, sledgehammer slashing my brains. A catastrophic disaster, hijackers crashing my plane. Afraid of being alone, afraid of being together. I feel for always and never being too dumb or too clever. And Mother Nature's mistakes, dry lakes, earthquakes, and bad weather. And knowing all there is to know, and still not knowing no better. Guess I'll never know I don't I don't understand. That's probably my favorite track. Yep. Yeah, I liked it. Oh two that one so far. Or Scrub Gang. Scrub Gang was good. Mm hmm I got like if they made House Pit nowadays, I got that kind of vibes. Yeah. Rafe. Okay, how are we feeling about this? The little jab at Fred Durst. That was fucking great. <laughs> the drop kick Shaggy Two Dope did on, on Fred. I've heard I've heard that. Mixed into a funky part. SP's beef with Fred goes way back. Everybody hates Fred. They don't have beef with Fred Durst. They they did a trap with Fred. Mm-hmm. Next song, oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, guys. You get, you can't hold it against me if I don't like it. Yeah, get ready to see disgusted faces, probably. The '80s rock ballad. I got a commercial right now. I gotta wait for it to pop off. Is it okay? So there it is. Um, it's not saying if it's featuring anybody or anything. So we are on track. 
six out of seven. So we just got one more after this, guys. All right, here we go. <laughs> I press play on the Walkman and cranked it up. Fresh batteries powered the box. Got three joints hidden in a pack of smokes folded up into one of my socks. I'm a burnout riding on the handlebars of my little brother Super Goose. Mow your front lawn, five dollars at the back for fifteen plus a water or juice. That's when I saw him sitting on the porch, toward ash as tight as can be. Thinking happy eyed, like her dark, sultry eyes on me. This age rock ballad has the perfect tone for the way you flood my soul. I wish we could have met as kids back then together with the whole lives to go. This 80s rock ballad has a perfect pitch. Man, who the fuck sings this song? If I just would have known you was out there, I'd have searched under every stone until I brought you Imagine home. Imagine us together when grunge hit, scoring tickets to Alice in Chains. Or would we have stayed true to that 80s sound and been way too stuck I kind of like it. Suddenly yeah, better than I thought. And we had a boy, and three years later a girl. What would we have even named our kids, and where would they be in the world? As the styles change, and when things get strange on each other, we can lean. Always having one another to believe in, while the rest is just a dream. This age rock ballad has the perfect tone for the way you flood my soul. I wish we could have met as kids back then, together with the whole lives to go. This age rock ballad has a perfect pitch, man, who the fuck sings this song? If I just would have known you was out there, I'd have searched under every stone until I brought and you And I bet we would have withstood the rain and survived any up and downs. In the 2000s and beyond, our harmony would grow stronger no matter the sound. As time starts to show embedded in our faces, we'd be the only two around. Through any good times, bad times, whatever the pain, together you and I forever we're found. Yeah. That's not slash, is it? No. I don't think it is. I mean, he was on. It sounds familiar. But we still got a whole lot of life to share. And now together, the best is yet to come. This 80s rock ballad has the perfect tone for the way you flood my soul. I wish we could have met as kids back then, together with the whole lives to go. This 80s rock ballad has a perfect pitch. Man, who the fuck sings this song? If I just would have known you was out there, I'd have searched under every stone until I brought this home. This rock ballad has the perfect tone for the way you flood my soul. Until I brought you I wish we could have met as kids back then together with our whole lives to do. Until I brought this home. This rock ballad has the perfect pitch. Man, who the fuck sings this song? Until I brought If I just would have known you was out 
I actually I was, fucking loved it. Holy yeah, shit. I was wrong. I like I I was doubting it. Like at the beginning, like I heard that I heard that beat. I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be cheesy or something. Yeah, I was like, fuck. I don't know. I got like poison vibes. I got that um guitar solo sounds really familiar. It, it's probably somebody from um Motown Rage. Possible. It, it sounded. I don't know. It'd be cool if that was Slash, though. Yeah. This just brought it to a twenty out of ten. Uh, it's a twenty out of ten, huh? It's dope as fuck. A lot of reactions on this song. Wait, good song to mark the occasion, huh, Bodie? <laughs> Love that. Told you never doubt it. Hey, Brett. <laughs> so, everyone seemed to like it. That might actually be my favorite song on this so far. That's a closer. That's a fucking closer. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know why they got a fucking remix Queens. Yeah, oh, it's going to be interesting. It's the next song we're going to be listening to. And it's the last. Queens. So, who said it? Just wait till you hear this next song. All right. Let's, uh, let's do this. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get better. After the wretched betrayal, who surround beneath your cell? Who always brings you back to life and never fails? Surprise! When you lose control, who steers? Who knows why your biggest fears? Who always listens to your rants and really cares? Who's always worried when you piss? When the mug shatters, who's your miss? Who's screaming no when you wanna slice your wrist? You really are what kind of joke you really are Who always treats you like a super fucking star Who don't stop believing in you? Does all the rowing in your canoe? Who wakes up while you blow your check in the saloon? Who will break you out of hell? Cross Satan's eyes out with her nails. Who's still there by your side? I like your ghost and pals. Who's stronger than a man? The only one you know who can. Who rescues you again and again and again and again and again and again and again? Who sexy, hot as hell? Who's inside smokes her out of show? Who's love so warm? You're for a captivating spell. Oh, I wish you went away. 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 Oh, I wish you went away.
I like the original better. Yeah. I'm going to say that song there took an L. But still, overall. Yeah, to me. Huh? That was just eh. I didn't like how they just like had that techno beat in it. And they just kept like fucking with it. Especially at the beginning. Um. Okay, give the album a, a rating. From your first experience, listen to it. I want to give it like a nine. Nine. Nine and a half. Uh, I'm a I'm gonna say the same nine and a half. It was that it was that last song that really, that really did it for me. But I mean, overall, this is our first time listening to it. Maybe if we listen to it a little bit more, it might grow on us a little bit more, and it could be a ten. I wonder if they're gonna do another remix on fucking the next one. Possible. Uh, that comes out what? Hollow Wicked. They might do Wretched. I like Wretched. Cause Wretched's kind of like a Halloweenish song. Yeah. That would be cool. Definitely. Sometime... The 80s ballad should have had Shaggy. I forgot to add that. I thought I heard Shaggy in it. Like back back up like backup vocals. I meant like a verse, a verse or a chorus or whatever fuck. Yeah, that would have been cool. The um that eighties ballad though, um, so it sounds like it could be possibly a, a like a a tribute. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, you know, this would be a good tribute. I want to find out who's playing the guitar though. It might be someone from Motown or. The one guy from the previous track, there ain't no time. Yeah, it's possible. I felt like though if they would have got Slash or like a big time guitar player on this album, it would definitely get more more sales. Yeah. I mean, you don't really hear ICP collabing with mainstream artists anymore. Like they did back in the day. I guess Alien Ant Farm was the last one on Yum Yum Lure. Yeah. Google it. Couldn't find anything. Um, it might well, be in the booklet. Yes, I was going to say. We'd probably have to get the physical copy and uh, look That's what in I'm the booklet. Do. Surprise at the gathering. They already announced the surprise. It was a cover band. Um, 
I mean, if it's in the booklet, people at the gathering that already cop that already cop the album, they would know. And if someone's watching this from the gathering, if you look in that booklet and you can find out who the guitarist is, please let us know. That'd be awesome. Shit, it even might be Legs Diamond because he plays guitar. Yeah. I was watching where ICP was doing that. Um, they was doing that special where um, they would. It was on. Uh, was it, on it was on Twitch, where they was recording right on the live stream. They uh, he did uh, a disc, pulled a disc. And mm. if you if you look behind Shaggy and and all and everything, when Jay was in the booth, you'll see a, like a golden guitar. I was sitting there looking at that guitar. I was like, okay, they're definitely going to use that in the future. Okay, so, all right. Um, overall, guys, as your first time listening to it, what do you guys think on a scale of 1 to 10? What are you going to rate this album on? I want to know the ups and downs, your guys' um, positives and negatives, feedback. On each song, what's your guys' favorite song? What's your last favorite? You're giving it a 10 out of 10. All right, good night, Bizarre. Let me check. You, you could probably get it from the vault, right? Let's check and see if you can get the physical copy. I don't think so, not yet. Oh, you don't think you can yet? Yeah, I'm not seeing nothing on the vault. Show some love. Hope you have a good night. Missed a lot. You, you like it though? Seven. Okay. So you're giving a seven. I'm a tough critic. To be honest, like when I when I asked Alan, um, yes, you can get you can get. Oh no, it's Wicked Vic. Wicked Vic is eight ninety nine on the shop. So no, you can't get Pug Ugly yet, but if you guys go to psychopathicmerch.com, you guys can pick up Bedlam and Wicked Vic. Um, gave it a nine. Okay. Nine out of ten. It's like when I hit Alan up, I did not like Wicked Vic. <coughs> I've only listed a couple of the songs that I didn't list to the full album. Um, but what I, every song I heard, I didn't really care for. So I hit Alan up, and I asked him, I said, you want to do this um, listening party? And he's like, sure, let's do it. I came on here expecting to not like any track, any of these tracks. And I'm honestly surprised I actually liked them. I mean, Queens, I'm not saying it's a horrible track on this one, but it's my less favorite, and I like the original better. I, I can't remember the rating I gave when we did the Bedlam um, listening party and reactions and all that, but like right now after listening to listening to the original a few times and watching the music video, I'd, I'd give that song itself about an eight, but on this on this album here, it's definitely gonna be like a low five. Cause I just I don't like like check this out this right here. Listen to the beat. After 
the wretched betrayal Who so went beneath your cell Who always brings you back to life and never fails so When you lose control, who steers Who knows why your biggest fears Who always listens to your rants and really cares Who's always worried Like, I just, I, I can't get into that kind of beat like it's the it's the remix for me that I just didn't care for, the new added added like beats and shit. I don't know. I'm one of those people like I don't really care for remixes. I like the originals, but there has been some remixes I have enjoyed. There's just like covers. Normally, I like the original cover, but. Some covers I like more than original. It all really depends. But I'm definitely going to give this album a nine, nine and a half. Um, Queen's remix would just have to grow on me. <clears throat> if it was just Queen's, the original, I, I would have gave it a solid 10. If they would have put it on this album. Instead of Bedlam, but like no doubt, first time listening to it, to this album, and instead of it being a remix, it was just original Queens. Yeah, I would have gave this album a 10 just as a first time listening. Now, listening to it over and over throughout time, I'm sure, I'm sure the numbers can fluctuate. It, it might turn into a seven, it might stay a 10. I don't know. That 80, 80s ballad, though. Really, really shocked me. I did not think I was going to like that one one bit. I actually thought I was going to hate it. Same. Um, yeah, when I saw Mike P's name, I thought it was Mikey Clark for a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> I was like, oh, Mike P, fuck. So I think either 80s rock ballad or Scrub Gang is probably my, my favorite. It's really toss awesome. up. I really like Scrub Gang. I'm Afraid is a good one as well. Pug Ugly's decent. Abracadabra's decent. I'm Ugly. Uh, They're all good. Yeah. Now, I'm Ugly as like as it being the first track you listen to on an album, which I consider it as a, like an intro. That's definitely dope. I i don't think I've listened to the intro in Wicked Vic, but Alan said he did, and he actually like I'm Ugly better than Wicked Vic's. I still like Wicked Vic's intro. I got Carnival of Carnage vibes, kind of. Yeah. I like Scrub Gang. I, I, I think the next one's going to be like a horror type. Um, Weeping something. Whoa. The name, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Wicked Woe? Something like that. Um, and that's, but I was looking for my Bedlam album. I don't, don't know where I put it. I was going to see exactly the date. I, I think they said it's going to be released to All at Wicked, though. Yeah. So there will be another um, listening party. Shit, another thing to add during October. Yep. Yeah, because we're also going to do we're we're gonna attempt to do it's I mean technically it's a listening party because we're gonna be listening, but we've already heard it. But we're gonna be listening to uh, Freak Show and Bizarre Bizarre. No shit. This will be our second this will be our second time doing that. But we don't have the footage anymore. Yeah. Wasn't that on Demented though? You might actually be right. If it is, we do have the footage. Let me check. Yeah, it is. Holy shit, we got it. Right, right here it is, guys. Well, we don't have the bazaar. We just hey, have the 20th well, yeah, anniversary. Was, uh, Magic Ninja channel. 
back then? Um, one year ago, Twisted's 20th year anniversary, yep. So this would be the 21st. <clears throat> this is the 22nd anniversary. Is it? Came out, two, came out in 2000. We did that in 2020. Oh, it says one year ago. Yeah, because it hasn't been two years yet. Makes sense. Yeah, once it comes up, once October comes, let's want to say two years. Okay. Oh, shit. It'll be interesting. So look forward to that by subscribing and clicking that bell notification. That way you guys get alerted for when that happens. And I'm going to play our promo for Wicked Wednesdays. Every Wednesday we go live. At 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Definitely check it out. Sorry for the echo, y'all. Oh, was there an echo? Yep. I didn't even hear it. You should have said something. <laughs> the last time you didn't hear me, fam. Oh, oh, well, private chat. Maybe close the tab next time you, if you're going to do the shaggy shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got I got multiple crimson. When I bought when I bought Bedlam, I bought more than one. All right, guys, go check out our merch. Let me mute myself. Adult sizes and children sizes as well. Kids will be going back to school this month. Get your get your kids some wicked crew drip. Oh, yeah. new echo. It's yeah. Perfect school shopping. Oh Perfect. yeah. Oh yeah. Get you. Oh, fuck. I don't think we have any any notebooks. I was like, get you a wicker notebook. We need backpacks. I think we do have backpacks available. Get you a wicked crew backpack, shit. Huh? I said get you a wicked crew backpack, then shit for your kid. Kind of pricey. (laughs) I think they're like fifty bucks. Oh, um. (laughs) Yeah. If you want to see a backpack bad enough, they're like I think they're like fifty bucks. It might be forty. I don't know. But go get you one. There's a reason why I don't have one. <clears throat> all right, all right. One hour, man. 
Less the that whole album less than it takes less than an hour to listen to the entire album. Think about that, guys. Go to Spotify, listen to the album, or iTunes if you haven't pre-ordered it. Then you can go there and buy it now. Um, here soon, I'm sure you can go to psychopathicmerch.com or the vault and pick up a physical copy. Or if you have the gathering, you can pick up a physical copy at the merch tent. All right. I'm going to jump out of here. Later, y'all. Whoa, whoa. Later, y'all.